So in the previous presentations we have seen what is a process, how to create it, etc. In this presentation we're gonna look at a little bit more in-depth understanding of processes. So we have seen that processes are used for isolation. Different programs need isolated memory regions inside the operating system. Think about a scenario in which you can keep two different objects in a shelf at the exact same place at the exact same time. As we're going to see in this presentation, that is exactly what a process does. And that is exactly what we need to create different universes for different processes. And that is exactly what we mean by two different process virtual address space. Which means if a process stores Y value at Z address, process B can store X at Z address at the same time. Because in the case of process A, the address is pointing to, the address C is pointing to a different physical address than the same address in the case of process B. Also, process A has no understanding of the existence of process B or no way it can access or modify X, the value X at address Z of process B and vice versa and how this particular magic is achieved as I mentioned same virtual address is mapped to different physical address with the help of page table entries so there is a very lengthy presentation from myself regarding memory management in that we are explaining every bits and pieces of this particular mechanism how this is achieved with the help of processor etc so I'm not going to explain the entire thing here but let's have a look at the nutshell two different processes one is xyz.exe which is running on Windows and abc.exe which is running on the same computer so these are the two different processes which are running in the same computer and both these processes has address 0x 1234567 this process also has the same address now the code or the DLL or the EXE which is running inside this particular address space a read or write or execute from this particular address what happens is CPU try to translate that particular virtual address into physical address which is inside the RAM so this is the RAM so this black box is the RAM and for that translation it uses something called page table so these are the page table entries so each row in this table is called page table entries so each page table entry pretty much point to a physical address for each virtual address. Each virtual address is translated to physical address with the help of page table which is here. And this page table entries inside the page table is a different for a different process. Process XYC.exe has a different set of page table entry and process ABC.exe has a different set of page table entry. In this particular case, 0x1234567.8 is pointing to this particular physical address. And in the case of ABC.exe, 
the same address 0x1234567 8 is pointing to this particular address in the RAM so what matters is what is in the RAM so we're gonna look at the debugger so this is a KD which is attached to a virtual machine it is a Windows 8.1 virtual machine which is attached to this particular KD so the first the first command I'm going to type is bang process 0 0 to see all the processes running in the system at the moment so all I want is uh, two process pointers I'm going to take a random process so this particular process I'm going to take so I have to switch into that process context so that I will be selecting the correct page table entry so the command is dot process slash r slash p then the process pointer now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a user mode address the kernel mode address is same so this is a user mode address inside this particular address space or process so I'm going to do a DC on that address say random address so that particular address has these values pretty much I don't care about the values now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna switch the process to a different one so currently it is this one and I'm going to switch into this one so dot process slash r slash p in the process pointer so I'm not explaining the switches slash r slash p etc we'll have a different presentation for that now I'm going to execute the same command that is not giving me any result so which means that when I changed my page table entries my value got changed so this is not even a valid address in this particular process at a space but that was a valid address in this particular process at the space so now what we have seen is same address in different process at the space has different values which means that once we are in the context of this particular process if we change this particular address or value inside the address it won't affect the value inside this particular process bank pt command we have explained in very detail in the memory management presentation so I'm not going to show it here so coming to summary the most important aspect of a process is sandboxing or isolation one application from the other with the concept of virtual address space that's about the presentation now reviews comments and suggestions I would like to take from one single location so if you don't mind I would like to follow this particular pattern for the reviews and comments unfortunately it is not really useful to me if you update the YouTube comments as YouTube is just one way we publish content now if you think you need more personal attention or have some in-depth doubt or need some more training please feel free to follow these links also please refer someone if you think they can benefit from similar trainings all services are available online as well as direct classroom training so that's it thank you for watching see you next time